Hello, welcome to a new video of Dynasty War, and today I want to talk about what I want. So this is the second episode where I talk about what I want. Last time I talked about um, uh, SWAT hero attribute and a new hero idea. Now this time I want to talk about troop, uh, changes to troop or uh, new troop that can help a, um, a method of gameplay, of attacking. And that is the stealth units. Okay, the stealth troop, the stealth soldier is the only stealth unit that we have in the game right now where we could actually create a stealth soldier. Um, he is completely stealth the entire game. Uh, the other thing that can spawn stealth units is the Typing Towers, a level 1, 1 stealth uh, wolf, and then each level he gets an additional wolf at level 3, That's which is the maximum level of Typing Towers. He can summon 3 wolf, and they do respawn. Uh, as long as the Titan Towers is alive. And we have other units, heroes, that can summon stealth units or became, uh, become stealth. But that's not really what I want. I want a stealth troop that I can actually create and use um, the way that I want to use and not getting a bunch of Typing Towers to do the work for me because they cost 12 housing space. Now, if you get it up to level 3, then you can say that, okay, each wolf is basically taking 4 housing space. And they can respawn as uh, as long as the Typing Towers is alive. Sounds like pretty good. Um, Stealth Soldier take up 5 housing space. And the thing is they're pretty weak in my opinion currently. They're very weak. Um, their stats are weak. Um, probably uh, the they're weaker than the Wolf, I would say. Um, well, they definitely have more DPS than the Wolf. But the Wolf is more... Um, viable because they can respawn, they attack faster, they move faster and because the wolf I think have like 60 something DPS I, I figured that out a long time ago I even made a video about it but um I mean I could probably look that up it's, it's around like 60 to 65 um DPS they attack every one second so every time they attack it's 60 damage whatever like that and they don't level up um they don't th those attack those stats doesn't go up uh, with the level of tapping towers. However, you can have treasure to buff them. I mean, you can have treasure to buff the stealth soldier as well. But still, their basic stat is so bad that it's not even good, even if you buff them. Because at max level, a stealth soldier has 120 DPS, 180 HP. It's very low. Even with treasure, you can only buff up another 25%. 120 DPS plus 25%. It's only maybe 100. Um, uh, 150. 150 DPS is still very weak. Um, even the 6 star Alchemist has more damage than that and it's splash damage and it's range. Uh, 180 HP is very low. Um, I don't have anything to show off how low that is in this account because all my other stuff are not really upgraded. I mean even the level 6 Alchemist is 164. Uh, max level Alchemist has 200 something HP and max level style troops only have 180 HP. And, well, you can say it's pretty close to a uh, um, Alchemist, then why is it bad? Because it takes 5 housing space and they move at 1.2 uh, tile per second. On Tower of Ted, they attack very slow. Um, not 2 seconds slow, maybe 1.5 second. I never really tested it. But even, even if it's 2 second, uh, attack speed 2 second, with, a, with 120 DPS, that means each time they attack is only 240 damage. With treasure or anything. At most, each time they attack, it's only 300 damage. 300 damage to a structure is not a lot. Um, let's take a look at a very weak level 9 Archer Tower. He will still need to take 3 hits to destroy a level 9 Archer Tower. I'm talking about max level stealth troops with treasure. At least 3 attacks to take out a level 9 Archer Tower. That's how weak it is. Given how much space it takes, 5 space, and how slow it moves. And how not tanky it is. If you're moving slow, you probably want to move, uh, have more HP, just like other troops. Um, heavy cavalry move slow. I mean, actually, it's pretty fast too, 2.2, faster than the other things, um, but have a lot of HP. Then take a lot of housing space, low attack. Things that move faster have lower HP, lower DPS. This thing has take up a lot of space, move slow, low HP, low DPS. Really, being stealth is not that big of an advantage because stealth troops can still be affected by ground traps, which is extremely confusing to me. If you're gonna make a new uh, a type of troops that is stealth, then why is ground, um, ground 
stuff affecting stealth because it's silly now that you're just basically making traps um, available to attack both ground and stealth and if you just take a look at some of these numbers a fire mine at level 1 does 175 damage a max level stealth troops has 180 HP um, yes it, they can um, take one level 1 fire mine but if you have if you're using max stealth, stealth troops uh, stealth soldiers your enemy is probably having a level 2 level 3 fire mine that can blow up all your stealth troops at the same time and then you have low D, low DPS a level 1 cunning though has a 1000 HP I need like I don't know five <laughs> five or six um, stealth soldiers to attack this thing at the same time to destroy it or else they will be sitting here for like 20 seconds and they're still attacking this cunning doll. Um, the traps are just basically so much more powerful than the troop itself when the troop takes five housing space it's not like a one housing space the troop is five housing space and you have so many traps there's no way you can um, use those troops by themselves it's just impossible at later game and early game I used them before I destroy bases before but it's not easy and I'm not saying it's not possible people do it but honestly they did it not because of the style of soldier they did it because they have strong heroes and they have really strong um, typing towers with the treasure that buffed the, uh, the wolf so technically they're not using the stealth troops they don't need the stealth soldiers okay they can replace the stealth troops with something else all they need is just typing towers and the four heroes that they use really well and that's the stealth gameplay gameplay so um the stealth soldier is completely useless in my mind right now and well i shouldn't say completely useless because i do use it for um single player campaign same single player campaign there is still very good uh but that's the only thing it's, it's so limiting because they don't do enough damage they're slow they have low hp even if you buff them with treasure it's not good enough to compare with other troops or even good enough to take care of the enemy base so um, I really hope they can change these, make him actually stronger. You know, he, he does have to move fast, more HP, more DPS. If, if he's going to attack slow, then do more damage. If you attack slow, make sure you do more damage. And he doesn't. <laughs> the DPS is not high enough um, to justify this slow moving and not, um, not tanky troops. Or um, make all of these traps not applicable to stealth unit and create design some new traps to specifically specifically target stealth troops and you have to place them correctly because right now so many of these traps you can put them anywhere if you spread out around the base your stealth troops will get hit by one or one or two of them at least and they will die immediately there's no second chance they get hit by any of these they're dead um if they get bewitched that's even worse because they start attacking your other troops and their stealth so maybe your other troops cannot fight back you're done <laughs> really it's a really bad design right now the stealth troops um or and that, well that's one thing okay the other thing that i want them i want to have as um indicated by the title of this video what i want i really want a bead troop that is also a stealth unit not typing towers okay just a troop a low cost uh low housing space troops that maybe cost like like a bow cavalry okay maybe two housing space uh, it could be fast hopefully better it'll be fast um because the stealth soldier is already slow so fast then they don't have to do a lot of hp because low housing space maybe lower hp lower dps and um cost less where you can use a lot of them at the same time make it more fun that makes stealth a, an actual possibility because with those you can probably take out some traps or sacrifice them to these traps and then your attack become uh, more viable. It makes sense now that you have you have more than one stealth troops. <laughs> Before we only have, you, right now we only have one stealth unit, the stealth soldier. Um, not counting the ones that you don't actually create. You, you if they spawn it, I mean that's not really um, a, a stealth unit that you make. So at least there is another variation, right? See. You can have a fast unit, like a weak unit, like maybe the warriors or the archer or you know, the greedy captains. And then you have a tanky one, slower one, more HP, like a heavy cavalry, right? You have to have these combinations. However, the stealth troops, the stealth soldier, it's one, and one type, one troop, and then it takes all the negative of the other one.
<laughs> move slow, low HP, low damage. Take a lot of things. It has all the negative of any other troops, but the stealth part of it is not really a big enough benefit to justify all of these. And I really want to use them, <laughs> but uh, it's just not good enough. And I know people can use them, people did use them uh, pretty well, but again, I'm saying they're not using the stealth soldier pretty well. They're using the four heroes plus the typing towers really well. Uh, because they have treasure, because they have their level already. They, I mean, they still have to try a lot of times and, and practice because this style of unit is just really bad right now, I think. Um, but that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.